on September 11th, uh, 2009, I was diagnosed with mouth cancer. I've never smoked a day in my life. On October the 13th, I was wheeled into surgery. It turned out that I was in ICU for three weeks and in hospital for another seven before I was able to go to go home. Our initial reaction was that, um, you know, oh gee, it can't be happening to us sort of thing or to we as a family. And then she had a blood clot move into her right lung. And um, this became a very situ uh, scary situation. They described it as a massive blood clot. They also found at the time that the feeding tube that had been put in uh, to nourish her while her uh, mouth recovered from the surgery from the swelling had come out of her stomach and the uh, food and nutrition or the fluids and nutrition that they were putting into her stomach uh, were not going into her stomach but in fact were going into her abdominal cavity. So this really raised um, a great deal of concern. If infection started in her abdomen it could become a, a very severe infection very quickly. One of the nurses that was looking after Pat kept her back and sent the man in the next room to her up to the ward because her intuition told her that maybe Pat wasn't doing as well as it thought. In Pat's case, um, we used a constant temperature monitor on, on her when she first arrived to us from the operating room. So it allowed us to accurately monitor her temperature and of course with that rising we were able to tell there was something wrong and um, of course treatment was initiated immediately because of the monitors. All it takes is one of your loved ones to be in here and, and to see what actually goes on in an intensive care unit and how much these monitors actually help the nursing staff and the physicians. I think that anyone would understand why this equipment is so important to us. Well, intensive care units are highly specialized units within the hospital and require very specialized equipment. New monitors will help us assist with caring for our most critical care patients within the hospital. They will save lives, so any support provided would be greatly appreciated. Didn't have the monitors and uh, the monitoring system and uh, the ability and the tools at hand. Um, it's hard to say what might have happened. I would say that I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for the professionalism of the, of the staff in the ICU and because of the equipment that they have available.